And I want to sound the message that the entire South Side Belize City is declared as a state of emergency um, area. While at this time we are not going after everybody because we need to be fair to those who were in prison before in the first state of emergency and since then they came out and uh, they are truly walking a straight line and working with CYDP and Brother Nuri and Miss Deborah um, Sewell from Love Foundation and Francisco Woods. So there are a number of persons who are dealing with these young men and uh, we're seeing some changes from them and so we are giving them that opportunity to continue to make that change. But those who continue to demonstrate that criminal propensity and do not want to fall in line but instead want to be violent, hunting or preying on other people, recklessly shooting at women and children, we cannot have those people among us. Their behavior is incompatible with human behavior and as such they do not belong among us and those are the persons that we are after and those are the persons that we are putting away. We expect going forward that the other areas that have been declared and we're not going after this time, that they too will get the message and ensure that they continue to walk that straight line so that they don't end up like those who are going away. We live in a small country. We cannot allow a handful of persons to keep hostage the majority of us. As the police, the principal law enforcement agency in this country, we have a duty, we have a responsibility. And some might say, but why is it that we have to resort to a state of emergency to deal with the issue? Well, you all would know that with these gang activities, though we know these players, we know when they commit crime, it is difficult to prosecute them because they threaten witnesses and nobody wants to come forward and give statement against them. And so we are unable to effect arrests where they are concerned. And so they remain on the street and continue to torment people. And so this is one way that we can deal with them. There may be some who are detained who may not be giving trouble at this time. And so they'll go through the interview um, with the gang task force, CIB, and once it is that we are sure that they are not a part of the problem, they will be released. I can assure the Belizean people that anybody, including any gang member, who is not a part of the current problem will not go to prison. That's for sure. In terms of the amount of persons being targeted, we have well over 100 persons that we're targeting. But of that 100, over 100 persons we're targeting, not all of them may end up in prison. I am sure that the, the amount to go to prison this time is going to be less than those that went in the um, previous state of emergency. You live your normal life. There, I know there's a curfew in place specifically for children. I think it's from um, eight, 8 at night to, to, six. Eight to, six in, to 6 in the morning. So if you're, if you're a, a child, if you're a minor, you must be accompanied by a parent during that time. But in general, you know, I, I, I always, it always, well, I, I, I want to use a TV word. It always disgusts me when I see the, the, the police try to do their jobs and, and people just openly disrespect the police while they try to work. I've seen police go into certain areas and they're hit by civilians they're, 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 they're punched, they're, they're, they're spat on, and it really, really angers me. Demonstrate, please, some respect to the police officers, some respect to the peace officers, and you'll be fine. If you believe that you can disrespect the police because you think it's cool, well, then you will feel some pain. Cooperate with the police, be a law-abiding citizen, and you'll, you'll be fine. 